functions of a central bank so now we have learned that central bank is the main monetary institution of any country which controls regulates supervises the financial system and all the banking and system of a economy now let us understand the functions that a central bank performs or the question can be as such that the functions of a a central bank or in other words the functions of the reserve bank of india as reserve bank of india is the function of our is the main sorry central bank of our country so the main functions are number one issuer of the currency so only the central bank of any country has the right to issue any kind of currency so the central bank enjoys the sole monopoly of issuing currency in order to secure control over volume of currency and credit this is the reason for which it is sometimes also known as the bank of issue the notes that are circulated through the throughout the country as legal tender money are all issued by a central bank so the central bank only has the monopoly right of note issue number 2 banker fiscal agent and advisor to the government the central bank in any country also acts as the banker as an fiscal agent and also an advice to the government so let us understand its function as a banker as a banker it accepts receipts and make payments on behalf of the government and also it gives loans and short term advances to the government when in need as a fiscal agent the central bank helps in managing the public debt also collects tax and other payments for the government and it also buys and sells securities treasury bills on behalf of the government as an advisor the central bank gives financial advice to the government when and all it is necessary number three banker of the banks the central bank is also regarded as the banker of the banks because the central bank has the same relationship with the commercial bank as a commercial bank has with the public so as the banker's bank the central bank performs several functions so whenever any kind of uh, help is needed by the commercial bank it is done by the central bank number 4 lender of the last resource it is a very important function of the central bank and a very often question is asked why is the central bank known as the lender of the last resort the reason is any kind of problem faced by the commercial bank be it financial or any kind of problem the central bank is the only institution which can finally come and help the commercial bank this is the reason for which the central bank is known as the lender of the last resort for the commercial banks number 5 cleaning house function the central bank also acts as the clearing house for this bank since all banks have their accounts with the central bank so the central bank can easily claim uh, a, sorry easily settle any kind of claims by various or against any kind of banks that is being made so it is known as the cleaning house function uh, of the central bank number 6 supervision of the banks another important function of the rbi is supervision of the banks the central bank supervises regulates and controls the commercial banks and also the regulation of the bank is done with the help of licensing branch expansion liquidity asset management amalgamation or merging of the liquidation etc are all done by the central bank so in our country the rbi has been vested with the extensive power for controlling the banks under the rbi act 1934 and banking regulation act 1949 and the last one custodian of national uh, foreign exchange reserve a very very important function of the central bank of any country is management of the nation's foreign exchange reserves The central bank maintains foreign exchange reserves for promotion of the international trade and also it maintains the stability of the currencies of the country.